Okay, so today I'm gonna make my version of Salisbury steak. So Dwight went and bought some hamburger patties. I'm just gonna mush this up. So I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup of some breadcrumbs. Maybe about a tablespoon of ketchup. I have a teaspoon of garlic. A little bit of onion powder. Worcestershire sauce, just a small squirt of some Dijon mustard, probably a good uh, teaspoon of, I'm using Worcestershire pepper just to add some flavor. I have a Lipton onion soup mix and a little salt. I'm gonna blend this up with my clean hands, form some patties, and then I'm gonna fry it in the skillet. I usually season the bottom of my skillet with olive oil and some seasonings before I put the meat in. I'm just gonna kinda cook these low and slow. And then once these are done, I'll start the gravy. It's on medium low heat, but it's still hot. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. one large onion. It doesn't matter if it's yellow or if it's white. mushrooms. There's a good one. Okay, I just pulled the meat out of this skillet, so it's got all the good crunchy tidbits in there. Right now I'm going to add the onions and mushrooms. This is one large onion and one pack of mushrooms. I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. And then we'll be right back to show you how to finish the sauce. Okay, so the mushrooms and onions are nicely cooked. I'm going to be adding a half a cup of some Cabernet Sauvignon. 
just for flavor. I'll let that cook down a little bit. Okay, I've let the wine reduce, and now I'm just going to be putting in a little bit more Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon, uh, about a teaspoon of some chopped thyme. You can use fresh or dried. About a half a teaspoon of garlic. about three cups of beef stock. I'm going to put this on high. So what I did was I took um, about a quarter cup of cornstarch and mixed it in a small bowl with a little bit of this liquid. And that will thicken up this gravy. Now I'm going to take the meat patties that have already been cooked most all the way through, add them into the gravy. And add a teaspoon of, or a tablespoon of butter, and I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes on low. Okay, so Salisbury steak uh, simmered long enough for me to make some macaronis and cheese and green beans. And there you have it, my version of Salisbury steak.